Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm back with an epic haul slash October favorites video. So if you are in the mood to just watch a light haul favorites kind of video, just turn this on in the background, do your dishes or drive to work, whatever you got going <laughs> and stick around for a while and maybe grab a cup of tea. And that is my neighbor slamming the door again. Every time I record, he slams the door. But anyway, welcome back to my channel. And as many of you know, if you watched my most recent video, I went to Salem yesterday. Yee! But I'm going to be a tease, and I'm going to wait to talk about Salem and the stuff I got in Salem. Um, to a little bit later. First, I want to talk about health and beauty things. Now, uh, before I go into the health and beauty things that I've been using and benefiting from in the month of, really, September and October, <laughs> I want to preface this by saying I'm not a doctor, I'm not a medical professional. The herbs and the essential oils and the tinctures that I'm about to talk about, um, I you know, I researched them, I checked their safety, I, you know, I did my work, I did my homework before I decided to start ingesting them or applying them topically or whatever, so do your own homework, don't just take my word for it. Okay, that being said, um, the tea I'm drinking is this, it's my favorite tea ever, it's an herbal tea, it is the Tulsi Sweet Rose. I've talked about this tea, I think, several times before on my channel. Um, it's holy basil, or Tulsi, with rose, and it is just so calming. I, I've i really been falling in love with the scent and the taste of roses lately, um, especially since I started to kind of ump the ante with my work with Mother Mary. And, She's often associated with roses, right? So if you're looking for a great nighttime kind of winding down kind of tea, I highly suggest Organic India's Tulsi Sweet Rose Tea. It's stress relieving and magical, <laughs> as the box says. And it goes really well with my, I think this is one of the first tinctures I ever made. This is my Tranquil Sleep tincture, and it's just Chamomile, rose petals, and lavender. Um, it's a very light uh, tincture. It's not really into the heavy-duty herbs <laughs> like valerian root and other types of herbs. Um, like I said, this was the first tincture I ever made, so I wanted to go easy on it and just kind of practice making a, a tranquil, calming tincture with very safe herbs, and lavender and chamomile are very safe. Um, so I like to put two or three dropperfuls of this tincture into my Tulsi Sweet Rose tea before going to bed, and it's just, uh, it's, it's the perfect end to the day. It's so calming and relaxing and gentle. It's just great. So, speaking of roses, since this is health and beauty, I have fallen in love with another Pacifica um, brand of perfume. And this is their Persian Rose Perfume. Now over the summer I did a haul slash um, favorites video and I talked about this which is by the same brand Pacifica. It's vegan, cruelty free, um, a lot of their ingredients are organic and this is the Tibetan Temple or wait, Tibetan Mountain Temple Perfume and it's earthy and spicy and you can smell like the frankincense and the myrrh and just deliciousness, a little bit of clove in there too. And this perfume, another reason to love it <laughs> is um, that it's fairly inexpensive. This bottle, this is a one ounce bottle, this was only $20 and that fits right into my poor grad student budget. And it just, it smells, oh, it smells so good. Well, a few weeks ago, I went to Whole Foods um, just to pick up some stuff. I don't 
do most of my shopping there because I can't afford it. But I saw that they had the roller stick on sale. And this is the Persian Rose. It comes in this beautiful packaging. Open it up. It says right here on the lid, you are so beautiful. I don't know if that'll focus. You see that on the lid? <laughs> and this is what the the roller stick looks like. With the metal roller ball. Oh my god. It just smells like pure roses and sweetness and femininity and just... Ugh. I actually like to put this on um, as kind of a reminder of my dedication to Mother Mary and when I work with her. So, yeah. Um, this roller stick, it's not an ounce, obviously. It's... 33, oh wait, it's 10 milliliters. It's 0 0.33 ounces. So it's a third of an ounce, basically. And it was only like eight or nine dollars. And like I said, it's vegan, cruelty-free um, portion of proceeds support clean water. So I guess they're involved in some sort of clean water project somewhere in the world. Um, yeah. I, I love this brand. It's affordable and it's great and it smells delicious. Um, kind of going along those lines, I also picked this up at Whole Foods. It was also on sale. Nourish Organic Argan Oil Balm. And this is basically just a giant chapstick. <laughs> um, but it's made with argan oil and it has sweet orange and palmarosa scent and oh, I love the smell of sweet orange it's not overpowering it's nice and subtle and basically you can use this as a chapstick but um, I use it for dry skin because living up in Massachusetts the air is drier here especially in the winter time when the radiator heat kicks in my hands get really dry, and my elbows get really dry, and they crack and bleed, and my lips get really dry. So I just use this on my hands, my elbows, and my lips, basically. And let's see. Has organic coconut oil, organic beeswax, organic sunflower seed oil, organic argan nut oil, organic shea butter, organic sweet almond oil, organic capu... Cap Puaku butter. I don't know what that is, but <laughs> there you go. Um, organic citrus or sweet orange oil. Organic cocoa seed butter or cocoa butter. Palmarosa oil and vitamin E. So yeah, they had this on sale for like eight or nine dollars and I figured I needed something heavy duty to uh, moisturize and protect my hands since the winter is coming. <laughs> um, and I got this and I, I love it. I put it on in the morning after I get out of the shower and I put it on before bed. And so far so good. So that was great. Um, now, getting more into the health side of the health and beauty thing. Um, let me first talk about a couple of tinctures. Now, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that last semester was really rough. Um, I uh, went back to therapy and I started confronting some demons and some traumas and I decided that I needed medication for support. Um, because in addition to confronting and working through depression and anxiety, which I've had since forever, <laughs> Um, and dealing with the trauma and family history of trauma and really confronting that. I talked about that a little bit more in depth in the last video I uploaded a couple days ago. Um, my husband and I were also, in a very real, like, material sense, going through some really stressful times. Uh, he was struggling to finish his dissertation. We've been in a long-distance relationship for over three years now. 
Um, so that's getting old. Um, but also, since he's, he's not a U.S. citizen, he came here on a J-1 visa from Chile. And that visa is just, ugh, it's such a god-awful visa. Uh, um, which I talked more in depth in the spring. Um, and so anyway, his visa was set to expire May 4th. And he was having trouble getting hired and finding a job, and he can't legally be in the country unless he has a, a tie to an academic institution, unless he has a job specifically at an academic institution. He can't just work anywhere. So we were scared shitless that he would, like, be kicked out of the country, basically, and that's some real intense shit. Luckily, last minute, his department pulled through. Turned out they needed someone to cover some classes. They gave him a lecture position. That's where he's at now. Everything's good. Financially, we're more stable. I can finally afford to get tarot readings from some people, some of the tarot uh, and card slingers that I really admire on YouTube. Um, so that's been great. And so, and he is great and he's still in Georgia so we're still dealing with the long distance thing but at least we have financial stability and at least we know that he can legally stay in the country until his current visa expires which is I think May 31st of next year so yeah we have a little respite from <laughs> the chaos so anyway all that being said I decided to go back on um, an antidepressant on um, Zoloft, basically, which I had taken in my early 20s when I was around 21. It worked well for me. So I was on a very itty bitty dose of Zoloft, but I decided, along with the guidance of my psychiatrist, to wean myself off of it um, because I felt like I no longer needed it because we had that financial and visa immigration stability. Um, because that was really the source or, well, a major source of the stress and depression and anxiety that I was definitely going through and he was going through too. So without that stressor, I felt like I was strong enough to kind of move forward and start making more progress in my program and all that. So I weaned myself off of that and I've gone back to using more um, herbal support. And now caveat here, I'm not saying that everybody should just stop taking their meds and start taking, um, I don't know, St. John's wort. I'm not saying that at all. Please don't take that as me saying that. Medication is great. It exists for a reason. It helps millions of people get through the day. It improves their quality of life. Medication is good. Um, I just felt like I didn't need it anymore. So, in lieu of um, the very small, tiny dose of Zoloft I was taking, I've now gone back to St. John's Wort, and I take um, 30 drops of this a day, which is one dropper full, and um, I also occasionally take Mother Wart. Now, Mother Wart, if you are pregnant, definitely do not take Mother Wart, um, because it can uh, cause uterine track, uh, contractions, <laughs> so that's definitely bad. You don't want those to happen until the time comes, right? But um, I take this specifically to help me, to help ease my PMS symptoms, especially the last couple days of my cycle before my period comes. Because of that, how it supports and tones the uterus, um, but it also provides some emotional support too. So um, I feel like it, it aids the onset of my period. So uh, since I, I track my cycles using the fertility awareness method, which I've also talked about on my channel, <laughs> I'm about to record some more videos about that. Um, but since I know basically when my period is coming, um, a day or two before my period comes, I'll start taking um, 10 to 15 drops of this, just mixed in water or tea or whatever. It's a little bit bitter. It's more bitter than the St. John's wort, but I'll take this to kind of aid the onset of my period and aid the shedding of blood and make sure that process is smooth and, you know, tolerable. <laughs> 
So yeah, I've been really enjoying getting back into using herbs. Um, I find that for me, especially the St. John's wort, it, considering that my levels of stress and anxiety have gone down because of the financial stability and because of my husband's immigration situation being more stable, um, I feel like St. John's War is definitely enough to help me. And there are some days when I feel like I don't need it, so I don't take it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll, I'll make more detailed videos about my experiences with these um, in the future once I, uh, once I have more of a long-term relationship with it. So, going along those lines, um, I'm going to talk about CBD oil. <laughs> So this was the first CBD oil that I purchased. It is, um, let's see, what is this? It's three milligrams of cannabidiol per serving, and a serving is 15 drops or half a dropper full. And this is in a mixture of like oil and glycerin. Olive oil, monk fruit, silica, something, water, anyway. <laughs> Um, cannabidiol is a component found in cannabis and in hemp. So, um, cannabis, I view cannabis as, sure, you can use it recreationally, and I have, and I love it. <laughs> I haven't used it in a long time. It's been, like, mm, nine or ten months since I've enjoyed it, <laughs> since I've imbibed, but, um, Cannabis is also, of course, a medicine, and in many people's lives, it's transformative, it's life-changing, it's a game-changer. It drastically improves their quality of life. You know, we've all by now heard of the Gold Goldilocks, I think it's called Goldilocks, um, strain uh, of cannabis where the THC, which is the chemical that gets you high, has been, you know, greatly reduced to very low levels, whereas the cannabidiol or the CBD oil content has been increased and that's been given to children, children who have severe um, disorders, severe like Crohn's disease and autoimmune diseases, severe, um, what's the word? Oh my lord, the word is escaping me. No, oh, you know what I'm talking about though. <laughs> so cannabis is very much uh, it's a medicine, and it's a shame that there are parts in this country where people who could benefit greatly from this medicine don't have access to it, and that's just a rant for a whole other day. But hemp-derived CBD oil has little to no THC in it. I think, I talked to the guy in the store where they sell this, both of these are hemp derived. This is three milligrams per dose, um, and this is ten milligrams per capsule. And the guy said basically in hemp it's like 0 0.03 percent per milligram is THC, so next to nothing. Um, but CBD oil, it is legally available in all 50 states so far. Hopefully it stays that way, since it is hemp-derived. It has to be hemp-derived, not cannabis-derived. Um, a lot of people with anxiety issues take this. Um, now, I think the legal limit that they're allowed to sell it per dose is like something like a thousand milligrams per dose. Obviously, this is like a hundred times less than that. This is only 10 milligrams per dose, and I take one capsule in the morning and one before bed, and it has like vastly improved the quality of my sleep. I find that it's easier for me to fall asleep and stay asleep, and it also has helped me um, manage my day-to-day my -day anxiety. Um, my social anxiety and my, I guess, generalized anxiety disorder that I have. It's in, it, it's improved the quality of my life, and I, I, may, I make a point to 
keep the dose kind of small because apparently you can build a resistance to it. Um, and it's not cheap. Like this brand that I have here, uh, which is the Total Plant Complex. So it's not the isolated CBD oil. It's the CBD oil mixed or in addition to, you know, the other chemicals and stuff in the plant, which is, they're all beneficial, right? But this is 60 capsules, 10 milligrams per capsule, and this was $60, basically, $59.95. Not cheap, but hey, if it improves the quality of your life, and if this is like a month's supply, I'm willing to pay it. Um, so I will definitely be making a more detailed video about CBD oil and again caveat flashing lights <laughs> I'm not saying that you should stop taking your anxiety medication and just start you know taking CBD oil not at all do your research um, you know what's best for you I just knew that this would be enough to help me get through the day and um, just chill the fuck out, basically, because it is, especially when you first take that first dose, it's very calming, um, but you don't get stoned or high or whatever, it's just calming, um, so this has been a game changer for me, and I do plan on making a more detailed video about this, uh, probably toward the end of October or into November, so be on the lookout for that, but yeah game changer. Um, so, this is going to be an epically long video, guys. I hope you're, you're ready. <laughs> um, so, I guess two more things when it comes to health stuff, and then I'll get into the more witchy stuff. This is fermented cod liver oil with concentrated butter oil. Very high quality. This is 120 capsules by Green Pasture. I ordered this from Amazon and it's about $45 per bottle. So it ain't cheap, but it's very high quality. It's responsibly sourced, sustainable, or sustainably sourced. Um, the butter oil comes from uh, grass fed, organic, you know, all that fun stuff. And so, I, uh, obviously this isn't for everybody, uh, you know, if you're vegan, <laughs> for example, this isn't for you, but I, um, I've realized just with the makeup of how my body works, I, I need animal fat and protein to feel healthy and to keep weight on because, um, I have a tendency to lose weight quickly, which isn't good. <laughs> um, so it helps me keep on weight, but also I've been taking this because um, it's been improving my menstrual cycle and my menstrual health. And your menstrual health can be seen as a sign of your overall health. Like if you have menstrual issues, sometimes it can be a sign of you know, it can be implications for greater issues with your overall health, right? Hormonal, endocrine system, um, liver even. You, the health of your liver can often be reflected in your menstrual health. And so, fermented cod liver oil and butter oil are both great sources of vitamin D. And now chances are, if you live in the Western Hemisphere or in the developed world, um, especially in the north, the northern hemispheres, or the further away you are from the equator, right, uh, you have a vitamin D deficiency um, because we're not exposed to enough sunlight, and depending on your skin tone, your, your body is more capable, it's efficient in absorbing the sunlight and transforming that into vitamin D, so a, a vast majority of us have a vitamin D deficiency, and that deficiency can affect your mood, your mental health, your physical health, the health of your 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 fertility, um, the health of your reproductive system. It's just yeah. Um, so I started taking this to support my vitamin D um, 
deficiency. And it is also very high in vitamin A and vitamin E. And since I started taking it, I've noticed that the color and the quality of my menstrual blood has greatly improved. Um, it's now like a bright, vibrant, lively red color. <laughs> Sorry if this is TMI, but hey, welcome to my life. Um, also, uh, I've noticed that um, the pain I feel, I think it's called middle schmerz or something like that. I feel a twinge of pain when I ovulate, so I know when I'm ovulating, and I also know which ovary is ovulating. <laughs> um, and not every person feels that, but before I started taking this, you know, I had, I felt like I had some hormonal imbalance issues because of constant stress and anxiety affecting my endocrine system. And um, I noticed that my left ovary was dominating, like practically every time I ovulated. Um, I felt pain in my left ovary and sometimes it was very severe pain which worried me. Now I've been taking this for about four months now. Um, I just take two capsules a day. They don't really give you any guidelines as to what the the dose is. They leave it up to you because they really specify or they really they'll hand you like a little pamphlet that goes with this if you order it from them and they say think of this as a food not just a, a pill right this is a food source <laughs> um, so you don't really measure food in you know pills how many pills per day right um, but I just take two per day and sometimes three or four if I feel I need it I just kinda go in my gut with that and I, I really can tell how it's helped my my menstrual flow. It's also kind of re helped to reactivate my right ovary, like for the first time since I can remember since taking this. Um, my right ovary has been the one to release the egg twice in the past four months or so. And I can't remember the last time that happened. And also the pain I feel at ovulation is brief, um, feels more normal, it's not debilitating like it used to be sometimes. Um, the pain I feel at menstruation is, you know, most of the time I don't even have to take an ibuprofen to deal with it. So yes, this has been a game changer. Again, you know, I'm not telling you to take this. <laughs> Do your research. I just, I did my research and I chose to take it and I'm very glad that I did. It is kind of stinky. It is, I call it my sticky fish pills because, I mean, it's cod liver oil. <laughs> but it's really been a game changer and improved my quality of life because it's improved my menstrual cycle. So, yes. Um, now, the last thing I promise. How far are we? We're 28 minutes in. This is going to be epically long. Maybe I'll just cut this into two parts. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to have like a health and beauty half and then a more witchy half. How about that? So if, you're, if you've made it with me this far, it means you're really into the health and beauty stuff. So let me talk to you about essential oils Ooh, as I adjust myself. So Young Living. I know some people view Young Living as like this cult or this pyramid scheme, and really, it's not. <laughs> um, some people try to like make a living selling essential oils, and so they can seem kind of like like they're recruiting you. <laughs> um, but thankfully, my friend who got me hooked on this isn't like that, and she just she noticed how essential oils were really helping to improve her life and her children's lives. So she just told me about it and I decided to give it a shot and it's like, holy shit, like really high quality essential oils. I mean, it's the essence of the plant and all medicine comes from plants at the end of the day, right? So, um, yeah, I, I've had really good experiences with the Young Living essential oil brand right now. Let me see if I can show you. 
I'm using their, uh, what's this called? Oil disperser thing? Words are failing me. It's in the evening. I've had a long day. <laughs> you know what that thing's called. <laughs> it works great. It smells great. It helps to humidify um, my, my home a little bit. And I love it. It came in the kind of welcome package that they do. But anyway, specifically I wanted to talk about this. Their Dragon Time Massage Oil. Now, they have a Dragon Time blend. But the massage oil is already diluted for you in their carrier oil blend that they also sell separately. And it's cheaper than buying the bottle of <laughs> the essential oil. So I decided to give it a shot. Dragon Time refers specifically to menstruation, to PMS. Um, so if you have issues with PMS and painful menstruation, you might want to check this stuff out. Um, it has, in addition to the carrier oils, it has lavender, fennel, clary sage oil, regular sage, ylang, ylang uh, olive oil, yarrow oil, sweet almond oil, and jasmine, um, in addition to the carrier oil blend. And clary sage, specifically, can help with uh, female endocrine balance, so uh, balancing the production of estrogen, or estrogens specifically, because there's different types of estrogen. Um, and so does fennel, I believe. So clary sage, though, is mainly the, the key ingredient in this. Um, clary sage oil. And you guys, I love this shit. It smells amazing. I The last time I had my period was the first time that I got to try this stuff out and it was the first day of my period and my back, my lower back was hurting and in general in my lower abdomen I was feeling like gross and bloated and a little bit painful and sensitive. So I put some of this on my lower back and on my abdomen and within 10 to 15 minutes the pain and discomfort was greatly reduced and that just made me a convert. <laughs> um, that blew my mind. So might be something worth looking into. I'm not saying that you have to go with the Young Living brand or anything. I'm not going to try to recruit you, but I'm a convert. Um, I diffuse diffuser, that's what that thing's called. <laughs> I diffuse essential oils anytime that I'm hanging out in my apartment, like when I'm reading and doing work here at home. Um, the smell is lovely, it's uplifting. I mean, we're witches and pagans, we know the power of scent, right? We work with scent when we work with incense and uh, smudges and all that fun stuff, right? Um, but specifically, just, I've really been working with this, and it's amazing. I, I put this in my bath, too. Whenever I'm feeling kind of moody and hormonal, I'll put a tablespoon or so of this into my bath. And I just, oh, my body just drinks it up. Um, so yeah, dragon time. That shit has blown my mind. Um, yeah, essential oils, they work. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so I think this concludes the health and beauty half of this. So I'm going to stop this now and upload this se separately. This will be part one, and so part two will be the witchy stuff. So stay tuned for that. Bye!